In the harrowing reality of the COVID-19 pandemic and the consequent government policies to checkmate the spread of the virus in 2020, many Nigerians, especially workers in small and medium-scale enterprises, engaged in different legitimate activities to make ends meet. We are opening once in a week and you must have your hand sanitizer, your face masks. It was not really easy. We get to three times. These are the policy of the Federal Capital Territory. We have to control their coming. They get used to it during the lockdown. They keep to the rules. While one of the guidelines from the World Health Organization, WHO, required adherence to safety precautions to prevent infection and transmission of the highly infectious virus from one person to the other by wearing a face mask, frequent washing of hands with soap and water, using alcohol-based sanitizer, physical distancing and avoiding public gatherings. The challenge of sustaining compliance to these safety requirements and the effect of the pandemic in the country was even more daunting for many Nigerians. It affected a lot of things, the cash flow in the country and uh, people are now struggling to buy food. The year 2020 cannot be forgotten easily. It will linger to some times because many people we are badly affected. In August 2020, the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition GAIN launched the Keeping Food Market Working Initiative as part of the agency's global response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria and six other countries. The core elements of this intervention included emergency grant and TA support to SMEs, provision of wash infrastructural facilities and related preventive materials in two traditional wet markets, Gosa and Utako market. The essence was to support essential food vendors in the marketplaces with basic infrastructural facilities and other COVID-19 preventive requirements to stay safe and protect others around them, especially their customers. Before now, we used to experience significant uh, level of uh, open defecation in the market. And uh, when people defecate uh, in the market, it impacted uh, food safety directly. And uh, also, we also realized that there was no um, uh, reliable source of uh, water supply. Again, that is also linked directly to uh, food safety because people don't have enough water to wash their vegetables as well as other food products. So, uh, and again, it's all about food safety. This initiative was implemented in partnership with the Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, where the two focal project markets are located in the heart of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Nigeria. So during that last year, the activities of gain that came into these two markets actually assisted the market. First mass were donated hand sanitizer, washing hand machine were provided by gain. So I think that is what really helped the two markets to be functional. When they came, we received them with open arms. We are so happy. They came with a lot of, for me it's goodies, I will call it goodies. So each time they keep supplying us nose masks, they brought a machine that will be mounted in, at every entrance of the market. You have water to wash your hand and all that. It was really helpful. We are very happy from the intervention, even where it comes from. Even in absent, we pray for the people and tell them that God will bless them because that is, number one, is not easy. If you want to come into the market, they ask you, where's your nose mask? your hand sanitizer and the rest of them. And if you don't have, you won't come into the market. So because of their own intervention, I think the team became easy. If you don't have, they will give you. When you look at the capacity of this market, you realize that these facilities are directly linked supporting food safety. So whatever food you are going to be, they are going to come out from this market, it's a very strong prospect that the, the, the safety has been enhanced through the siting of these toilet facilities as well as the market reliable water source. The partnership with the Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, birthed the need for some market improvement interventions to enhance market and food safety for vendors and consumers. 
patronizing these traditional food markets. Hard components of these market improvement intervention included GAIN, through its Keep-In Food Market Walk-In Initiative, donated a solar-powered borehole system equipped with a 14,000 litres capacity overhead tank to improve access to safe, clean water and a fully built six cubicle toilet facilities that included provision for people with disabilities in the Gosa Farm Produce Market. The initiative also provided bulk supply of COVID-19 preventive materials including face masks, liquid soap, face shield and 30 mechanized hand washing machines for the market's use. Honestly, I'm entirely, especially our chairman, is very, very happy because we never thought that such thing was going to happen to this market. But by the grace of God, we have seen it. It has come to reality. In fact, with that provision of the toilet there and the borehole as well, uh, the council feels so relieved. So, so, so many customers, they are very happy about the toilet. If somebody wants to use this if it will go to the far, far, far inside bush. Before she, so is this, is they see this one now, they are so happy. Again, the way I look at it, it has come as a help to humanity, on which they have done it. We did not pay anything, rather we are the one gaining from them, like their name. I pray that God will continue to bless them and we are looking forward for more support from them. The activities of GAIN have really drawn the attention of the council and now the council have taken it up. That is why you could see that the Honorable Chairman have started fencing the market. The toilet and borehole facility was commissioned on the 10th of December 2021 by the Executive Chairman of the Abuja Municipal Area Council, Honorable Abdullahi Adamu Kandido, along with other government officials. First and foremost, let's give God the glory. We want to turn uh, global alliance. Yeah. As the grace of God, Abuja Municipal Area Council will be really, really The Keeping Food Market Walk-In KFMW initiative through the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition GAIN is working to enhance food safety in major markets across the country. At this particular moment, when global health issues threaten food safety and nutrition, the KFMW initiative is focused on mitigating the risk of economic collapse of food systems in order to sustain the availability and affordability of nutritious and safe foods. Together, we're building a healthy, safe and productive world. Like my Honorable Chairman said that day, he said there is no words he will use big enough to appreciate gain for what they have done. And he concluded that day by saying he will do like Oliver Twist, who needed more always and asked for more. 